20 million people saw Guillaume Neri, a world record-breaking freediver, jump into the abyss at Dean's Blue Hole in the Bahamas. 20 million views is a lot. A lot of people love this video. Yes, this video seems to show Guillaume dive 660 feet to the bottom and return to the surface on just one breath. This is amazing. I want to get to know this guy. Agreed. We travel to Nice, France to meet Guillaume and his wife, Julie Gauthier. No, not them. This is Guillaume, and here's Julie who filmed the incredible video. Freediving is the art of going in the water on the single breath. So the idea is to uh, redefine the limits and trying to dive as deep as possible. What makes this video so special is that he's not wearing any scuba gear. He's just diving into the water, he's leaping into the unknown, and he's just enjoying it for the moment. You are one with the water, you are one with the elements, and this is something very great. This is really remarkable. It's a superhuman feat. A superhuman feat that is definitely fiction, not fact. Is it a fake? He didn't, it's not real. The idea was not to pretend I touched the bottom. The idea was to make a beautiful film, an artistic film, that was different than what we are used to see underwater. So why can't Guillaume free dive that far? The main problem with trying to do a dive like this is that you would run out of oxygen. So at the top of the dive, he takes a breath, but then as soon as he hits the water and dives deeper and deeper, there's more and more pressure on his body. Now, for most of your body, that doesn't make a lot of difference because they're reasonably not compressible. But your lungs, which are full of gas, are quite compressible. And if they get squeezed by the water pressure, that means there's less surface area inside them, and so it's much more difficult for your body to extract the oxygen from that air. You also see him moving around a lot, and that's something that free divers tend not to do, because the more you move, the more you work, the more your body uses up oxygen. In real life, the actual record for an unaided free dive is about 101 meters or 331 feet. Now, that's a very long way, but it's only about half as far as Guillaume claims to have gone in this dive. So this video is fake, and here's how they did it. He really did free dive through the entrance of Dean's Blue Hole, which is only about nine meters or 30 feet down and he continued diving a little while while they filmed him. But all the footage you see of him walking around on the bottom is not really the bottom. It's just a rocky outcropping somewhere near the top. We did this, this film for the freediving community. We didn't expect it was about to go viral. For us, it was so obvious that nobody would believe that because we, we know it's impossible. I had to write to some a uh, newspaper to say, no, no, please don't say I touched the bottom. I didn't touch the bottom. And they said, it doesn't matter, it's beautiful. Yes, it certainly is breathtaking. 